guys so you guys saw the title of the video and today we're going to be making a vegan sandwich inspired by the Japanese egg salad sandwich so most of you might not know but I lived in Japan for two years so when my wife came across this video that showed this Japanese egg salad sandwich that people are going crazy for in California she was like I feel like you told me about this sandwich and you gotta watch this video now I watched the video and I was like girl that ain't nothing but no regular Japanese egg salad sandwich from 7-eleven <laughs> <laughs> over in Japan they got 7-elevens everywhere and when you're just coming out of the club or the party or wherever you're at and you're having fun you go to the 7-eleven you get yourself some green tea, oolong tea, and you grab yourself an egg salad sandwich, you're good to go. So if anybody can tell you how good this sandwich tastes, it's gonna be me. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get inside, let's get to the video, let's go. All right, so now the key to this Japanese egg salad sandwich is QP mayo. It's like the secret ingredient. Now, they sell QP nationwide you can find it online at walmart.com and what's qp um, mayo qp mayo is japanese mayo it is the top notch top tier the best japanese mayo you can find on the market unfortunately it is not vegan however we have found the vegan version it is only sold in japan you can only get it online, and unfortunately, it is sold out. But we got it! <laughs> <laughs> we got it for the culture. I flew out to Japan, met up with my connect, got us some vegan mail, Japanese style. This is the stuff. Guys, we got it off of eBay. We got it on eBay. <laughs> hey, I'm still gonna call that guy my Japanese connect. <laughs> but yeah. We bought we three. I wasn't lying though, it is sold out right now, but it did cost us about 11 bucks to get this. So I would keep checking online. As soon as it's back in stock, go ahead and pick you up some of this. All right, so today we're actually gonna make two sandwiches, okay? One's gonna have the infinite dip on it, and the other's gonna have our QP Japanese vegan mayo on it okay because we don't want to make something with an ingredient that you guys can't readily go out and get right now and uh that's it <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so when you get it it does come in this uh plastic you take it out and it comes in this container that is very easy to squeeze yeah. so it's going to be very easy to, to apply it to anything that you need i'm going to open it up it does come sealed Take that bad boy off. I'm just gonna taste a little bit of it. Just a little. Just a little. Mmm. Does it ring ring any bells? It does. Now it tastes like um like regular mayo, but it does have a bit of a tang to it. Like mm -hmm. it's very tangy. Because there's like mustard. There's mustard and I think. There's a bit of like mustard or something in there, but it yeah. Nice and that's, flavorful. That's gonna be cool. All right, and before we continue, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. All thumbs right. up. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to cut our tofu in half. Uh, cut that bad boy in half. Now what we did before was we put it in the air fryer to dry it out. We sure did. We put it in the air fryer just to dry it out a little bit because as you know, tofu does come in water. water. So you want to dry it out a little bit before you actually handle your and tofu. And the air fryer is great for drying it out because then you don't have to use a tofu press and it's super fast. Super fast, super easy. Super fast. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this down the middle so we have nice thin layers. And Chris suggested that one side should be the egg whites and the other side should be the egg yolk. So that's why we cut it in half. So, so. that's why we cut it in half and it's going to be a little creative. So we're just going to make some nice slices there and then we just cut that bad boy up like so and this is going to make it easier for your light mashing that you're going to do let's put that in there all right so now that we got that done we're going to um, add our seasonings which is going to be salt black pepper garlic powder 
And for the yellow side, we're going to add turmeric to that one. What kind of salt is it? It is black salt. Black salt gives it that eggy taste. All right. It um, has a lot of sulfur in it. And um, that's going to give it that eggy taste to make it taste just like eggs. And tofu doesn't need to be fully cooked. We did put this in the air fryer for 10 minutes. Right. So it is good for cooking in case you guys are wondering if we can eat it. That's right. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get our seasonings on. Got black pepper, black salt, garlic powder. Okay, and for our yolk side, we got our turmeric. It smells like pure farts. Pure farts. <laughs> <laughs> and now, once you've had all your seasonings in there, you got it to the, your liking, go ahead and mix in the white with the yellow. Uh -huh. And start to mash. Oh, my vision is coming to life. <laughs> it's alive. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at that. Ooh. That it smells, smells so wow. good. Yeah, it smells just like eggs. That black salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, while you're doing this, I'm going to go work on the infinite dip. Okay, guys, so... The key to infinite dip is that each time you can make small variations and it can be a completely different outcome. That's what I'm going with today. Absolutely. So I'm going to just again speed this up until I have this perfected and like three different recipes. I'm not going to officially share the recipe yet. I'm not trying to be mysterious, but I just want to get it right. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of black salt in it to give the mayo a little bit of eggy flavor. Another variation I'm going to do today, I'm going to put some yellow mustard because I know that the QP mayo has mustard in it. And of course I'm gonna put some kelp granules because I really like that seafoody flavor. All right, I'm gonna speed it up now. Color-wise, it has a very similar hue to that mayo. QP. About to taste it. I already know it's gonna be four. Four. It's gonna be four. <laughs> four. <laughs> yeah. That's part two. Okay. Well, but you can't just eat it by itself. But you can't just eat it by itself. Four. Four. <laughs> mm, mm, What's mm, happening here? Mm, what? Mm. No one, no one asked for that. No one wants to see that. All right, so now that we got our dip and our tofu ready, we're going to go ahead and mix in our dip with one side of the tofu. And then on the other side, we're gonna use the QP. So, I don't know, kind of like a little comparison, taste test kind of thing. But low key, this right here, yeah. It tastes like it. Right? It tastes right. like it, definitely. Yeah, so, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is the, the QP style infinite dip going in. As Chris said, the infinite dip is infinite. You can make yeah. it into so many variations. It could be a dressing. And low key, be... if you have a vegan mayo that maybe you don't like love the taste of it, try adding a little bit of black salt. It might give it that eggy taste you're looking for. Pro tip. Pro tip. Pro tip. All right, and for an added bonus, go ahead and add some green onions. Yum, yum. All right, so this is the egg salad with the infinite dip, QP mayo style, and this one is the QP mayo egg salad. Both of them smell amazing, look mm -hmm. amazing. About to find out if they taste amazing. Now we're adding salted butter. So now we're just adding some salted butter. What we do is we crush it up on the side just to make it soft. So that way, if your bread is not hot, it will spread easily. Mm -hmm. And that way you're not ripping up your bread. Life hack. While you're spreading your butter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we would recommend you put your um, egg salad in the fridge for a little bit. Yeah, just for a little nice bit. It gets nice and cold. Ours is very cool because it's been taking us a while to film this with the kids <laughs> running in and out. But yeah. FYI. Gotta use that Texas toast, Texas baby. Texas toast, that's by Kroger, and right there on the back it says suitable for vegans. Suitable for vegans, baby. That's us. That's us, baby. That's us, baby. And now... We're so we hungry. Our <laughs> sandwiches. We are starving. If you want to be fancy, get you an ice cream scoop. I'm just gonna use this two tablespoon scoop. Right 
Bing bang bang. Bing bang bing bang bing. Mm. All right. All right. Now that we have our sandwiches made. Next step is to cut the ends. Just cut the ends off. All right, as you guys can hear, our kids are all awake. Okay, come on. <laughs> oh no, they're coming. My <laughs> final cut. We definitely won't be able to do like a sit down taste test because it's a madhouse in here right now. Carmi, back up, baby. There's a knife right there. Okay. Look at that. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, look at that. Ah. Ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, guys, here is the finished product. You might have seen this on Instagram. Mm. Oh, the smell of this. Guys, this is perfect for barbecues too this summer, mm -hmm. like for kids and obviously for the grown and shishi. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So here's the, here it goes. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like Japan. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like Japan. Japan. <laughs> I want to taste. Tamago sando. Tamago sando. Mmm. Tamago sando. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yo. Oh, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> no. Mm. Right. Here's the other one. Well, let me taste the other one now. This is the one with the cupy in it. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like Japan? Tamago Sando. <laughs> you stuff all over your mouth. <laughs> Let Mookie taste that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wanna see you one time? Mm. How is it? Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, y'all gotta make that. You guys gotta make this. Honestly. You don't have to go get the QP. Just make that infinite dip. Do what we told you to do with it. You'll be right in there like swimwear. Don't forget to like, like, comment, comment, subscribe, drink your milk, share, zip up your coat, zip up your coat, <laughs> <laughs> drink your almond milk, drink your almond milk, zip up your coat. Until next time, peace. peace.